we just pulled over because oh, look how pretty. We're on our way to a hiking adventure in a new place. Oh shit, there's a dog. Go away, dog. So we were on our way to a hike, but look at this freaking camping spot I found. Um, and last night I'm going to bed thinking, oh, I'm going to wake up early, you know, and like put my tent in my car and like maybe camp and stuff. But they're like, I didn't want to go buy firewood. So out here, I probably could have found firewood. <laughs> camping spots everywhere like you can kind of see this person over there uh look at their spot okay this area is just full of these dispersed little camping areas oh my God. why is my dog is that your throne king of the freaking desert is that your throne bro okay Anyway, what was I saying? Hmm, I have to enjoy this moment. And I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so this is my meal to start my day. Also, I'm gonna have some coffee because I'm addicted. It's really freaking bright. Oh my god. the vibe of just like camping like today is giving camping <laughs> oh my goodness is it just me or do i think it's cool as fuck when there's like these desert plants and then like mountain plants because this is like the desert mountains it's just like i don't know nature is pretty cool desert mountains we're in the snow and the desert right now like up this road that way is snow. Oh my god, I feel so happy. We're gonna run up this mountain. But I gotta get my stuff first. No service, no worries. Just living in the sunshine. I need this, you guys. I don't think you understand. Okay, this is how I heal. Life traumas, life stresses, nature. Like the air alone. I just realized I didn't even bring their leash at all right now. So even if I have to put them on, it's at the car. Uh oh. I just got here and I already don't want to leave. I wonder where we're gonna end up. Probably somewhere beautiful. The desert is cool, but the mountains are better. You can sit on the ground and like, you're not worried about the bugs. Yeah, there might be spiders and shit, but they're not like the desert bugs. How come everything in the desert is literally trying to kill you? I mean, I get it. It's hard to survive in the desert. So like, of course, everything there is gonna be a savage. But I just try to sit on the ground and not get attacked by like creatures, bugs, snakes, whatever. I mean, there's still snakes out here, but I don't know. Something about this type of ground, such a vibe compared to the desert ground. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I vibe with the desert ground all the time. I take my shoes off. I'm grounding. I'm sitting there. I'm laying there. I'm like looking at the stars, whatever. Landscape's always incredible, but something about being in the woods, <sighs> you just can't beat it. Being in the woods is like 
being saved by the Lord himself. <laughs> Serbi loves the forest. Serbi loves it. Zayla was just um on her own adventure for like three minutes where I couldn't find her. Hello? Can you not be a stupid? Thank you. Don't be a stupid. Hello. I'm having the best time in this spot right here. I don't want to leave. I want to go explore some more. Um, yeah, this spot is cool. But it's time to find another spot. we're supposed to go this way and um uh it looks super steep mountain dog hello i'm human i'm not i'm not like you i wish i was but i'm not honestly usually i pay attention to where i've come from and today i'm not <laughs> So it's just like, mountains are easy. If you go up the mountain, you just gotta go down the mountain. That's it, it's not that hard. So my favorite thing to do is just like, go off the trail. Trails are boring. The trail is the designated route. Well, okay, it depends. If you're causing erosion in the landscape, don't do it. But if you're just out adventuring and it's not doing nothing bad, I say why not? Hello there, doggies! You love it out here, don't ya? These trees look freaking cool! Like, it's just growing out like a... I don't know what to describe it as. Look it. Look. Look. Oh my god, look. I am a person who will just hike for hours and hours. And I don't pay attention to how many miles, okay? It's like driving your car and then going too far, not paying attention to the miles. And then you run out of gas. Well, I've had that happen before where it's like, my energy has been used just to get to the location I ended up at. And then I realized you still have to go back. You have the whole way you did this way, now the back way. And depending where you are, you could be going uphill back or downhill back. If you're going uphill back, fuck. <laughs> so, but I love it. Like that's part of the, adventure, the challenge, the curiosity. It's like, you know, pushing your body and then just dealing with the consequences. <laughs> See, look at this. In the woods, there's just a cactus. Imagine you just step on that. Imagine my doggy step on that. <laughs> so if I'm hiking in the cold like in the snow I really have to manage my like 
Oh, you're gonna step right. Oh, he was so smart and didn't step on the cactus. <gasps> Is Cerberus smart? Oh yeah, when it's cold and snowy and I hike for too long and my knees are literally, um, like my one knee especially. Like you get back to your car and you have to use your brake and your gas, but then you, my knee is fucked. So it'll be like shaking and like numb. And I'll be like, I gotta drive, you know? And I won't be able to drive. So I'll have to like sit there and thaw out or whatever. Cause my freaking knee, and I've always had a bad knee. Bad knees, plural, whatever. But if that doesn't stop me, why would I let that stop me? That would be crazy. I'm wondering if we should go to the top of another mountain. Not the one behind me. That's too much. The day is almost over. We're just doing like these ones. It's better to come over prepared rather than under prepared. I want to camp here all night, but now I have to go home because this is the only time I've ever like not even had my tent in my car. What is up with that? Like, excuse me? That's freaking rude. And uh, okay, lesson learned. Never ever ever leave without being prepared for staying the night never especially now that it's not winter anymore oh yeah by the way i just saw a deer with my dogs and no leash they didn't see the deer luckily i don't know how i have like the best vision when it comes to that shit and i saw it i was like oh and I was able to like call them over to me and they came and then I grabbed their harnesses and then they were like, what the fuck? Why, why are you withholding our freedom? And then like, we had to walk like that a little bit and then I had to make noises and like stuff to get the deer away. Cause there's no way this, look at that thing. He's gonna try to chase it. <sighs> the one shitty part about my life <laughs> is my dogs chasing wildlife. We just hiked all up in there and um, it was awesome. I really want to go walk up this road because like you could keep driving and whatever.
everyone wants a husky until they realize how much they should. Sometimes I wish I had service, but I actually am obsessed with not having service. Like, it's all distractions anyway. And I'm lucky. It's like, it's like a lucky, not lucky, where I don't have to rely on like booking every job or booking every audition anymore. It's like I can actually live life and not constantly have to be on my phone. We're going down the road. So we can explore and see what we can find. Look at this big open space. Oh, hello. There's more camping over there with a big ass log. We're gonna go sit on this big log, okay? I would four wheel up this, but you know. Look at the moon. Just moon. Let's go to the log. To the log. This area is epic. Can't get over it. I made it to the log. What now? What next? You can bring like 20 friends. And you each have your own fire pit. Yesterday, I tried to take you guys to see the sunset. <laughs> and let's just say, I don't know why, but cer like certain times there will be like infestations of one certain thing in the desert. So like, um, I think it was like October-ish time. So many tarantulas out in the desert, right? Never seen before, but then that time. And then one time like after rainy, there was all these huge black beetles. Like you could see them while you were driving. And then yesterday I was at this one mountain and there were these murdering satan things okay it's not cool these two beetles just crawled out of a hole holy fuck they're huge what the hell ah! he's creepy dude he's coming at me uh, no. Go dogs, go. go! Oh hell no. If this is about to... Oh shit, they're everywhere. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. If this is about to be... Ah! Okay, we're leaving. Come on. Ah! We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. on the fucking mountain and get away from those things and then today is the adventure because yesterday got ruined by the beetles like i'm having the best day ever <laughs>
while taking a break. Look, there's a bunch of firewood for us. Aww. Once again, regretting it, not bringing my camping stuff or even a lighter. Like, excuse me, this spot is calling my name. Oh my god. I'm thinking next week we might even do this for several days, okay? I'm talking escape, little vacation, hello? Because day adventures are cool, but I've been craving some camping. I need some nighttime fire. I need it to get really cold at night, get bundled up with my dogs in my sleeping bag. Like, I've been craving that. Honestly, the mountains... These are the desert mountains, but like the snow mountains, obviously too cold. Like, that's what I want, right? The cold? Mm, not exactly. Like, I want it warm during the day, like this, and then cold at night, you know? You know the vibes? I wonder if Serbia will play with a stick. Serbia, look at the stick. You want the stick? His interest is zero. Look at my hand from that stick. My sunglasses make it dark, so I didn't realize that that was a fire poking stick. Awesome. Woo. Not awesome. This is going to get all over my face. This is going to get all over. <laughs> and there's no water because we're in the desert. You know, there's no just washing your hands off in the creek. There's no just going to the lake. We're in the desert and I have nothing with me. So now I'm fucked. Kind of worked. <laughs> Let's go back to the car. There's still like a lot of people out here kind of, but it's like, you can't tell. It's still so quiet. Oh my gosh. Are you digging in a bush? I just saw a tiny mouse. Oh my God, do not look over there. Don't look at the mouse. It was kind of limping away. Is that what you guys were getting? It was an actual mouse, not a, what you call it, not a what you call it, a mouse. It was a mouse. It was white and cute. Oh my God. He was so cute. If I was a bird watcher, I'd be thriving right now. There's birds everywhere. That's a hobby where it's like, holy cow, peaceful. Right? You're just watching birds. Like that, what's the movie Beetlejuice with the dad who watches birds? I don't know why that scene is so like in my head.
haven't been somewhere so peaceful in so long. Like, I don't feel like anyone's watching me. I don't feel like I have to leave. I don't feel like I'm breaking any rules. This is nice. In the desert, I always feel like I'm going to get in trouble. I don't know why. Today was just a perfect day. Um, what is wrong with your face? You guys, you're so dirty. What? Cerberus, come here. Zayla, look at your eyes. Zayla. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love how the second I put my white sweater on, I get coffee on it. I love that. I love it so much. Before we go, they gotta wash the dirt down with some water. <laughs> Weird ass food truck type thing. Uh, that was weird. Anyway. <laughs>